Pete here from RC Car Action, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about motors and how they are rated. And the first term we'll discuss is turns. For example, this is a 15 turn or 15T motor in an HPI RS4 Sport 3. And here is our classic 27 turn Mabuchi stock motor. And what turns refers to in a brush motor is the amount of wire that's wrapped around the armature, the part that spins. If I were to unwrap this wire, I could count off 27 individual turns, thus making this a 27 turn motor. In the case of a brushless motor, for example a 17.5 turn motor here, the number of turns refers to how much wire is wrapped around the stator. This is inside the motor can. It remains stationary. You can see the wire wrapped around it there. This one happens to be a 7.5 turn. Now when you're talking about turns, the lower the number, the higher the RPM you can expect from the motor. For example, this 27 turn motor would turn less RPM than a 10 turn motor. Likewise, in a brushless motor, you would expect this 17.5 turn motor to turn fewer RPM than a 10.5 turn motor. The opposite is true for the other way of rating motors, which is KV, like this Reedy 3900 KV motor. KV refers to RPMs per volt. If I were to take this motor and hook it up to a one volt power supply, Theoretically, I would be able to see 3,900 RPM from the motor. If I were to hook it up to a 10 volt power supply, 39,000 RPM, and so on. So with KV, the higher the number, the greater the RPM. With turns, the lower the number, the greater the RPM. So if you're shopping for a motor, you would probably want the lowest turn or the highest KV you could get. Well, not really, because what KV and turns don't take into account is torque which is why you'll often see uh, larger, heavier vehicles, for example, a, a Traxxas E-Revo or a HPI Electric Savage will have a 2200 kV motor, much lower kV than this 540 that you put into a 110 scale vehicle. That's because those vehicles often are much heavier, require more torque, and or they're gonna run on higher voltage batteries, for example, a 4S or a 6S battery setup instead of the 2S batteries that we typically run in 110 scale cars. So more KV, lower turn, not always better, which is why you should always consult your manual when looking for a motor that's appropriate for your car. And of course, gearing matters too. But what you can rely on is knowing that a higher KV motor will turn more RPM and a lower turn motor will turn more RPM. And that's what turns and KV ratings mean.